Lee Rotatori was just 32 years old at the time of her death. More than four decades later, her family has closure, but police still have some questions. KETV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe walks us through this case. This is where Lee Rotatori was found murdered back in 1982. 40 years later, Council Bluffs police have named a suspect, but in turn find that his murder is still a mystery. I um, got all the case files out, got the boxes out, laid them all over my desk, covered my desk and the floor in my office and read through everything. Council Bluffs Detective Steve Andrews was assigned to 32-year-old Lee Rotatori's case in 2011. The young mother from Michigan had just accepted a nutritionist job at Jenny Edmondson Hospital in June of 82. She was staying at the Best Western Hotel where she was found dead with a stab wound to the heart and sexually assaulted. Andrews says DNA was collected from the scene and submitted in 2001. He would wait almost a decade for a match that never came. Back in 2011, when we initially started it, I started doing some DNA collection of, you know, who you would think might be the, you know, the possible suspect. It wasn't until the Golden State Killer was caught in 2018 by using genetic genealogy that Andrews thought the same testing might work for his case. 2019 is when it, when it started ramping up. The DNA was sent to Parabon Nano Labs, which gave Andrews an initial match that led to the killer's extended family. Then a teenage genealogist, Eric Schubert, offered his help. And we found out, yeah, the kid was legit. The two began following the family tree, and over the next two years, they narrowed in on a suspect, Thomas O. Freeman. Very quickly discovered that he was murdered within, I mean, he suffered a violent death within a couple of months after Lee's homicide. According to reports, Freeman was shot four times in July of 82 and left in a shallow grave in Illinois. Officials found his body months later in October. Let's just say that I don't believe in coincidences to begin with. Andrew says Rotatory has ties to Illinois and he's in touch with Illinois State Police who are trying to solve Freeman's case. Though Andrews admits he's disappointed in his findings. Because oh, we, we always knew the when, the where, the how of this case. You know, it wasn't until recently that we found out the who, you know, but now because he's dead, we will we'll never know the why. In Council Bluffs, Waverly Monroe, KETV Newswatch 7.